Hello and welcome to our coverage of Serie A football. Games don't get any bigger than this in Italian football. There will be so much passion as Inter Milan take on AC Milan. Let's head to the San Siro, the floodlights shining down on this magnificent stadium. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Hi there, everybody. It's another challenge for these two teams and a challenge for us in the commentary box, as always. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith's with me. Not too much of a challenge, I don't think. It should be a good game, this. You can feel the tension in the stadium here, the Giuseppe Miazza, the San Siro, as we know it around the world. You can just feel it. It's unbelievable, Inter versus Milan. Oh, it's one of my favourite stadiums when it's full and it's packed to the rafters here. This is Inter's lineup. Samir Handanovic starts in goal. Juan Jesus plays with Andrea Ranocchia in central defence. Freddy Guarín plays with Gary Medel in central midfield. In attack, Rodrigo Palacio plays up with Mauro Icardi. This is the Milan lineup. Diogo Lopez starts in goal. Gabriela Paleta starts alongside Philippe Mexes in central defence. Jeremy Menes starts looking to continue his great form in midfield. Matteo Destro is the lone striker today. Well, coming towards the end of the season, middle of the table could be better, could have been a lot worse, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Maybe if you'd have looked at it at the start of the season, you'd have tipped them to, to finish in this kind of position. But, you know, they could still make a good fist of it if they have a, a late flurry and get some points on the table. Lotto Leopardi is the match referee. Milan getting us underway. Ignazio Abate. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Bonaventura, he's got it back again. Luca Antonelli. Asio Sechi. Jordan Shakiri. Makes the challenge here. Medel. The referee asserting his authority here early on, giving that free kick been leading the attack and 15 goals so far he could get to 20 well he could do I think if he does he'll, he'll look back on that as a good season Bananes Gary Meda Guari Medel, nice touch. Hernanes. Bonaventura. Just a touch. Enough to take it over the line. Jordan Shakiri. Hit it with power, has he? But he's certainly hit it with accuracy. Let's have another peek at that goal. Good position here. Jeremy Menes in to get the throw. And 
Hernández. Jordan Shakiri. Guari. That passing is top class. The chance for the wide man to make some progress here. Look, Icardi! Well, that's not bad. Five yellow cards, he's finally reached that threshold. And we're into the last quarter of the season. I think in today's game, Martin, that's OK, that's acceptable. Santon. Get it back again. Davide Santo. Shirdan Shakiri. Medel. Gary Medel. Nagatomo. Oh, and goes across. Icardi! It's a decent effort. The height was the problem, though, in the end. for Inter, not quite the season that they hoped for and the end of one of the great careers, Alan. Javier Zanetti, he seemed to go on forever. What a professional, the old war horse, and uh, they'll certainly miss his influence on the pitch and in, in the dressing room. Jordan Shakiri. Now Philippe Mexes. Luca Antonelli. Good runs to his right from his teammates. Menez. The referee, that's uh, hooking because he saw that offence, even though he didn't want to stop playing. And we're, we're all agreed on it, aren't we? That that's the way to do it. Yeah. Yeah, he's one of the favourite refs, I think he's one of the more experienced ones, and he uh, really gives the game a chance. he get his cross in now. Cross is in. Well, the referee has signalled for half-time, and it's 1-0 here. First half has been quite tense here, reflected in the way the crowd has reacted, but they have seen the scoring being opened, and... It's really set up for the second half. It is set up. I mean, it's been a tight game. If that continues, obviously the team with their noses in front will fancy themselves. They just hope that it gets a little bit more exciting. So we reach half time. 1 0 the score with Inter leading. Let's take a look back at the highlights from that first half and then we'll be back over to your commentary team for the second half. Second half to start here with Inter leading at half time. And they play it wide now. Rodrigo Palacio here. Foul by the Inter man. And for the Inter player, yeah, the card's out, it's yellow. On another day, possibly, he could have got away with that. Andrea Poli. Well, that'll be the keeper's ball. Davide Santo.
One off, one on for Milan. They're looking to make the change now as quickly as possible, the home team. Great passing. And the crowd really enjoying it. Brought some width into this attack. Guari. Now, very cutely done with the back heel. Davide Santo. That's really cleared the danger with that strong header. It's another attack with plenty of support for him. Guari. In with the chance. And a goal for Inter. Shakiri, and what a finish this was. Really did put his boot through it to find the left hand side. Let's see the replay now. Jeremy Menes. Bonaventura. Return pass. Here's the chance. Well, that was the shot. Not a bad effort. No, not bad, but uh, under the circumstances, for a player at this level, you would hope that he, he can work the keeper there. It's the man of the match, I think we should say. The central midfield player. I don't want to put words into your mouth, my friend, but he's... Uh, he seems to have been in control of pretty much everything that's been good for his team. Yeah, I think he takes the honours without question. Not a difficult decision, this one. And uh, rightfully getting a good round of applause. Nakatomo. Medel. Guari. Controlling the play here, his teammates just borrow the ball for a few moments and then give it back to the main man. Substitution for Milan. Now Philippe Mexes. Luca Antonelli. Massio Sechi. It's Milan trying to change the shape of this game. Well, it's not going to be a complicated approach now. Long balls into the box for many. Nicely lined up for the set-piece specialist here with this free kick. Andrea Ranocchia. We keep the records of the yellow cards and we make it eight for this player now. And we are pretty late in the campaign. He won't suffer too much for that, I don't think. No, he's, uh, he's missed too many games, so uh, I mean, it isn't outrageous, that total. Inter want to make a change. An effort that smacked of desperation, really. They've got to do better. Jeremy Menes. So now he's up to 16 for the season. Still a couple of games left. Oh, yeah, he'd be delighted, I'm sure. It's turned him into one of his best. Milan ready to make the change. Jeremy Menes. Menes is caught offside.
We're going to get a substitution now from the manager. He has the fullback who's going to come off. What do you make of that, Alan? Well, he's offered nothing going forward and he's not been able to stop the crosses coming in from that side. Not surprised by the substitution. Bonaventura. And a quick return pass. And he's wide, just wide, with the header. Well, his movement's so good, and the header was a, a powerful one, but couldn't quite get the angle on it. And the decision from the referee by the fourth official is five added minutes. And it was an easy interception. Guari. Got to be. If he got any sort of... He's blown his whistle for the last time. It's a great game to win, a great way to win it. And I think the fans at least will be rubbing it in to their rival supporters. Oh, I think the winning team was a little bit more fired off, actually, than the losers. They were the team that wanted to win this match more. So it's full time with a final score 2-0. I'll leave you with the full match highlights. And until next time, I've been Jeff Stelling.